Hello everybody. Okay, this is a um, quick Congo update because um, I've got my four years coming up in only like two, three months now, so I don't want to do like a full update now. But um, I've got some interesting things happening with my Congos, so I thought I would show you um, just so you can get to know what's going on, basically. So here we go. We're out. They've got some impressive length in like recently. They've been growing like mad, which is good. And I haven't really been splitting a lot, that's why I've got all these Congos that I want to show you. Um, first one I'll show you is that three Congo I had at the front here. The three that I was letting grow together. They have now grown all of that. So that is very well established now. It's a nice thick one at the base now and you know, three down here. It's cool, I like it. Um, of course I've got like these ones from before which are now real long and thick and fat. There's that one as well, same thing on that side. Another little one. These, both of these ones, these two thick ones at each side. These ones, they were um, uh, three dreads. I plaited them together and then these little ones were like little ones that were next to them that kind of got sucked in from the plat basically, um, <clears throat> and I did them like right at the very beginning. These are these have been congoed for years now. Um, I've got one at the back here which I used to tie it up with, which is um, an interesting kind of congo. If I can even find it, where the hell is it? Yeah, this one here. Look, is it this one? I oh, know these ones here. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get them to congo. And if you can see here, you've got all this hair between them, so they're attached. That's, I can't pull any further than that. But they won't, they won't go together. But um, I don't necessarily mind. All I do is I use, when I tie them up, I use them too. And one from behind my ear. And this one. So I like, you know, use them ones to tie them up. Um, the cool Congo is the one at the back, actually. This one here. This one's real interesting, because it's done the same as that one, basically. It didn't quite Congo together properly, but it's got this little dread um, attaching them in the center. So I thought it was quite cool. It's like pretty unique with this little... Yeah, I like it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, what, what else was it? There's... I've got the back here. Now, I'm not entirely sure yet because it is a lot. But, I've got... What is it? One, two, three... Is that part of it? Yeah. One, two, three... I've got five dreads at the back, basically. Um, all share a similar, like a... A patch of my scalp basically um, and they're all trying to congo together which means I'll get this fucking mammoth of a dread if they did all of that would be one big dreadlock which would be fucking huge um, and awesome as well but I'm not entirely sure it's right at the back which is good because it means I can just hide it you know, like, it'll always be there at the back I don't use those dreads for anything, I don't use them to tie them up or anything like that. But, um, yeah, I just haven't been really splitting. And that's what's happening with them, basically. Uh, no splitting equals lots of Congos. So, if you don't split, you get Congos. If you want Congos, don't split your dreads. And you will end up with some real nice fat ones. Like these. And this. Yeah. Right, well, I guess I could tie this into the Congo category. Um, loose hair that decides to make itself into a little dread, such as this piece here. They will Congo in. You will find along your dreads that you get little tufts like this and stuff. Oh, that's the same one. But yeah, I think you get the idea. Like you will have little bits sticking off, um, like that one. It's basically a Congo, 
but that bit there was the same bit as that basically. It's exactly the same as here. It's just um, as it gets loose, finds a dread, Con grows into the dread, grows into it, and then you get the new growth from below will make more loose hair which will then dread and then it will come go into a new dread um, and that's just how it happens like if you feel around at the base of your dreads you will feel little dread balls basically of um, hair that's grown out um, and it hasn't because you've got so much hair around the back it hasn't had a chance to get through the dreads and become like established loose hair like all this crap at the top because at the top that like nothing really happens to it, you don't like rub your head all the time. So um, that hair becomes all straggly and strandy and you get all these bits down here at the front and stuff like that. But at the back, because you're laying on your pillows or you're wearing hats or hoodies, anything like that, or you, your headrest on the back when you're driving and stuff, even that rubs it. Um, where the dread, because you've got scalp and the dread, where it rubs against the against the base of the scalp, the um, the hair in the middle becomes a little dread ball and it just grows inside your dread basically which is pretty cool and you'll be able to feel them like I've got loads around the back loads of them every now and again you'll feel them pull as well like if you move a dread you'll feel the scalp get pulled because that dread ball is like moving around basically um, but yeah and that's just all comes into the same sort of category it's all congoing so really your hair is congoing all the time you know, the worst thing with dreads is, is if you have a callus on your hand, such as that, the scab fucking catches every time you rub your hands through your head and it hurts so much all the time. Um, anyway guys, yeah, cool. Hope that helped with your Congos and now you know what's going on with mine a little bit more. So yeah, alright guys, cheers, subscribe and like and four years soon, only, what are we in now, October? Two more months, two more months. Alright guys, see you later guys, bye.